Okay, in this video I am going to show you how to tune memory on a Chinese TUAB 550i motherboard with AMD Ryzen CPU. First let's see that I indeed have here Ryzen 5 5600 installed and the motherboard is TUAB 550i Gaming. For the memory I have two Corsair sticks, 8GB each, DDR4-3600. Here is SPD information if you're interested and you can read SPD information from here or you can read it from ADA64. Here is ADA64 memory benchmark and you can see that I indeed have DDR4-3600 running at the standard CL18 settings from my XMP profile. This configuration of timings you will need because TNUAB 550i motherboard does not support XMP uh, profiles and you need to enter timings manually. So the first step to tune your memory would be to either use ADA64 to get your XMP profile settings, for example this value over here, or use CPUZ to read SPD information and collect uh, XMP profile timings from the SPD tab over here. Now let me reboot into the BIOS and show you what you have to do to achieve this result. First of all you need to change the language from Chinese to English and for that simply click enter as soon as you go into the BIOS. This menu will show up, select here English and click enter again. With English language selected it is a bit easier to navigate through the BIOS and first thing we need to go to the overclocking or OC tab and then go here into your AMD overclocking. Once here it will ask you to accept some sort of a warning about damage caused about overclocking, whatever, just accept it. After that go into the second option for DDR and Infinity Fabric Frequency Timings. After that go to DDR Frequency and Timings and then again DRAM Timings Configuration and over here from Overclocking option you need to select Enabled instead of Auto. Then the first thing is to select your memory clock speed. Important here is that these are actual frequency of the memory. This is not the data transfer speed. So for example, if you have DDR4-3600 just like I have, the actual speed of the memory is 1800 MHz. If you would have a DDR4-3200, then you need to select actual memory speed of 1600 MHz and so on, because DDR is a dual data rate, which means that actual memory frequency is half as much as the data transfer rate. Once the memory speed is selected, you need to manually enter as many memory timings as possible. In this particular case, I have only entered the basic XMP profile timings, this CL18 and then we have CDR and the CDRV22, TRP22 and TRS42. If you are chasing the best memory performance, you need to continue to fill up other timings and figure out the best configuration, but for the basic XMP profile, this is enough. But it's also important to adjust the memory voltage because most of the XMP rated memory kits require 1.35 volts while the default voltage is 1.2 volts. And for that you need to go back and back again and back again and here you need to go to onboard voltage controls. And over here we need to select in this VDDIO instead of disabled we need to pick increase VDDIO. And this value is very obscure. The default value is 1.2 and then we are going to increase it by the value specified in this field multiplied by 3 millivolts. So by default we have 1.2 volts or 1200 millivolts and we need 1350 millivolts, which means we need to increase it by 150 millivolts. That's why here I enter 50, 50 multiplied by 3 millivolts will be 150 millivolts, exactly what we need. And that will result in 1.35 volts for our memory. Once that is done, you just press F10, save changes and reboot.